cost volume profit analysis. Up until now, we've been assuming that the company only produces and sells one product or one type of product or service. But in most uh, businesses, I don't think that's true. Uh, so, for example, McDonald's, when you go in, they want you to buy a meal, don't they? They don't want you to buy a hamburger or a drink or fries. They want you to buy a meal, which is a hamburger, drink, and fries. And they know what their sales mix is uh, because there's certain proportions of so many hamburgers sold to so many drinks to so many french fries. And, hey, what about that dessert? So looking at what your sales mix is for your company, you have to make certain assumptions in order to do cost volume profit analysis. So we're going to look at exercise 10, which is a pet shop. And they sell aquariums with water pumps and air filters. And the sales mix is for every one aquarium, they sell two water pumps and two air filters. So the sales mix is one to two to two. Okay, they then give you the sales information for your aquariums per unit, the variable cost of aquariums, water pumps, and air filters per unit. So can I find the contribution margin per unit? So 60 minus 25 means that air, uh, aquariums contribute $35 for every aquarium sold. Water pumps $20 minus $12 of uh, variable cost means water pumps contribute $8 for every water pump sold. And air filters, sales price of $10, $3 for variable cost, contribute $7 for every water pump produced and sold. Oh, air filter produced and sold. So if I look at this in terms of their mix, uh, the mix is 1 to 2 to 2. Now, what do we do with this? Well, we want to come up with an average contribution margin. So, uh, if this is the proportion, then what I'm going to do is sum the numerators to get the denominator. So, aquariums are one-fifth of the sales, water pumps are two-fifths of the sales, and air filters are two-fifths of the sales. So, if that's the case, if I take 35 times one-fifth, and 8 times 2 fifths, and 7 times 2 fifths, I'm going to get the relative proportionality of their con contribution margin. So, 1 fifth of 35 is 7. So, its average contribution margin is $7 for the company's mix. 8 times 2 fifths is $3.20. So water pumps contribute $3.20. And air filters, 7 times 2 fifths is $2.80. So air filters are $2.80 con contribution. So if I consider the sales mix and come up with the average contribution for this sales mix of 1 to 2 to 2, I find the average contribution margin is 13 for this sales mix. So now what I can do is plug that into the cost volume profit income statement, can I? Now I don't know what my sales are in total or my variable costs in total, but I know that my contribution margin is going to be 13x for that sales mix. The problem also tells me that my fixed costs are 26,000 and that I'm at break even. And at break even, what's my net income? Zero. So, solving for um, X, let's see, that would be 13X contribution margin minus fixed cost of 26,000 is equal to zero. So, X is going to be equal to 26,000 divided by 13. So, X is 2,000 units. So, at break even, I'm selling 2,000 units. Well, how many of those units are aquariums, how many are water pumps, and how many are air filters? Well, what I'm going to do is take those 2,000 units, and I know aquariums are going to be one-fifth. So one-fifth of 2,000 means that I'm going to sell um, how many aquariums? One-fifth of 2,000 is um, 400 units. 
or 400 aquariums. As far as water pumps, they're going to be two-fifths, which is 800. And air filters, again, is another two-fifths of 2,000 units, so that's 800. So at break-even, you need to sell at least 400 aquariums, 800 water pumps, and 800 air filters.